Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariana Elizabeth and welcome to today's slow warm sunrise flow as you can see by the title. So today's class is going to be all about exaggerated slow movements. You want to make sure that you're feeling into your own body. This is the class to be extra quote unquote and just like I said feel free to exaggerate and really stretch and deepen into each posture. Be sure to remember that I am solely here as a guide and I want you to feel empowered to wander off course at any point and explore what feels good to you today. So when you're ready, we'll go ahead and meet sitting on our heels. If that's not comfortable, you can always bring a blanket or a bolster in between your bum and your calves. <laughs> and we'll just take some organic movements here. Nothing too rigid or serious just whatever feels good to your body maybe rolling your neck maybe swaying side to side continue to be mindful are you clenching your jaw is your tongue pressing at the roof of your mouth if so go ahead and release your tongue from the roof of your mouth keep some space in between your teeth breathe And when you're ready, you can come back to a still seated position. And then we'll take a few cat and cows just in this um, seated position. So your hands are going to come on your knees. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale to cat, doming the spine, dropping the crown of the head. Another inhale, lift. And exhale, round. One more inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Beautiful. You can inhale, sweep your arms back and up, and then bring them down to heart center in a prayer pose. Another back and up. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, back and up. Exhale, prayer. And then one more inhale, back and up. This time, exhale, left arm comes down, right arm reaches up and over. Just a little gentle side stretch here, breathing into the right side body. Inhale, back up to center. And then exhale, right arm comes down, left arm comes up and over. So breathing into the left side body here. Inhale, back up to center. And then exhale, we'll make our way to tabletop. So coming to our hands and knees, knees under the hips wrists under the shoulders unless you're feeling any tension in your wrists you can always step your hands out just a little bit to keep that 90 degree angle at a minimum and we'll take a few dancing lions here so just sinking the hips back towards your heels in a circular motion again whatever feel, feels organic and comfortable to you today just finding what feels good in your body and don't forget to go the other way of course and take your time here. And then as you're ready, we'll come back to a still tabletop. Take a deep breath in. And on the exhale, hips are going to come up and back to a downward facing dog. And go ahead and pedal into this downward facing dog. Again, as extra as you want to be. Just feeling into your body, bending your knees as much as you'd like. Maybe lifting your fingers, maybe rocking forward a little bit. And then when you're ready, we'll come back to that still downward dog. And we're going to take 10 super, super slow spinal rolls here. So rocking it forward on an inhale, doming the spine. And then exhale, you're going to press the chest towards the mat. Hips are going to come up and back. So again, rolling it forward and then rounding it back. Another rolling it forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Feel free to go at your own pace. Forward and back. Two more wherever you are, forward, 
back, last one forward and back. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and meet back in child's pose here. So just rest it down and just take a few breaths here in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Another one in through the nose. This time we'll take a ujjayi breath. So seal your lips, constrict the back of your throat, and then exhale back through your nose. That's going to literally heat us up from the inside out. So another ujjayi breath in through the nose. Similar to if you were fogging up a mirror, exhaling back out through the nose. One more breath here. And release. Awesome. When you're ready, we'll go ahead and meet back in our downward facing dog. And then we'll do just a few, about four, down dogs to high planks. So this will help fire up our core and warm up our shoulders as well. So from down dog, you're going to shift forward into high plank. You might need to adjust your stance a little bit if you feel like you're too far forward. And then hips are gonna go up and back to downward facing dog. Another one shifting forward to high plank. And back to downward facing dog. Rounding the, uh, don't mean the spine, forward to that high plank. And back to down dog. Last one, best one. And back to down dog. Beautiful, this time roll it forward back to that high plank. And then while you're in your high plank, float the right leg and then push up and back to a three-legged downward dog here. So that right leg is going to be lifted. Feel free to open the hip. You don't have to worry about keeping your hips square this time. Just really feeling into it, maybe wiggling your toes and then bend into that right knee coming into hydrant. So you're really gonna be opening up the hips here. Now you have the option here to either flip your dog or you can stay here in hydrant. If you flip your dog, you're going to be really reaching back with the floating arm. And then while you're in this flip dog, go ahead and circle that lifted arm a few times, maybe three times for one, two, and three. Beautiful, you can flip back over. So transitioning right from this to a side plank on the right side, option to float your left foot, option to bend into your knees. Again, take whatever organic movements feel good to you. Maybe you even play with uh, bringing your left big toe to your peace fingers. Always an option to come down to your right knee as well, if that's a little more accessible to you. Wherever you are, find one more breath in. And then exhale, come back to your high plank. Awesome, you can lower with control all the way down to your belly. And then your locust arms, locust pose, um, arms are gonna be behind you. So you're not gonna connect them this time, you're not gonna bring a bind. You're just gonna reach them behind you, point your toes, lift your chest, and then sweep them forward, and then back again. Awesome, you can relax all the way down, belly down Shavasana, bring your right cheek to the mat, and just breathe here. Beautiful job. Let's go ahead and do the left side now. So bringing your hands underneath your shoulders, tucking your toes, find a deep breath in, engage your core, and you're gonna press back up to a downward facing dog. And then we're gonna shift forward to that high plank and back to down dog. High plank, down dog, high plank, down dog, high plank, and down dog. Beautiful, one more high plank. This time float the left leg and then push up and back to a three-legged down dog. Again, opening that hip, wiggling your toes, whatever feels good to you here. And of course, when you're ready, you can come to hydrant. So bending into that left knee, 
taking a little time to feel into this. And then of course, flipping your dog or staying in hydrant, whatever is comfortable to you. If you're in that flip dog, reaching the floating arm back, maybe even bending into your knees, whatever feels good to you again. I feel like I've said that multiple times. <laughs> but to make sure you understand, whatever feels good to you, one more breath in. And then circle the lifted arm for one, two, and three. Go ahead and flip back over, transitioning, transitioning directly into side plank on the left. And then feel free to take whatever um, variations you'd like in your side plank here. Again, option to come down to your left knee for a little stability, maybe playing around, floating that right leg. And then when you're ready, find another breath in. Exhale, come back to high plank. And as though you're moving through honey, slowly lower down to your belly. This time we'll take bow pose if that feels comfortable to you. Option to take another locust if it does not speak to your practice today. But if you are moving into bow pose, go ahead and lift your heels up behind you. Reach for the outer edges of your feet. Find a breath in. And then exhale, press your feet into your hands. Make sure that you're not gazing forward, but more so down to protect the neck. Pressing, pressing, lifting. Know that if you're rocking back and forth, you are breathing. One more breath. And exhale, belly down, Shavasana. Left cheek comes to the mat. A few breaths here, just relaxing. Palms can face up. Alrighty, and then moving to the last part of our class, we'll go ahead and come to your back so you can either just roll over right here or you can get up and um, come to your back, whatever's good for you today. And when you are on your back, we'll go ahead and meet with our legs straight up. So the soles of your feet are going to be facing the sky. Flex your toes, wiggle your toes, roll your ankles. Make sure you roll them both ways. And then from here, we're going to work on stretching our knee joints for lotus pose in a way that I have actually found to be more accessible. I know a lot of you actually have asked, uh, based off of my YouTube shorts, how I'm getting into those lotus legs in my headstand. And this is actually how I worked up to that. So it kind of helps when gravity is doing the job as opposed to my body weight, um, as opposed to doing this from like a seated position. So legs straight up. Um, oh, also before I move forward, if you feel any pinching or electrifying sensations, please, please back off of this immediately. Do not force anything. Take your time, one leg at a time. <laughs> All right, we're gonna bend into our knees here. Bring your right foot on top of your left thigh. And then if it feels good to you, go ahead and begin to draw that heel in closer, kind of towards your left hip crease. As you work it there, you can begin to straighten through the left leg, and then your hands can come either to your calf or you can maybe take your peace fingers, your right hand peace fingers to your big toe, and just begin to draw that left leg in towards your uh, face. When you find the perfect distance to where you feel it, but not in a painful way, you can just hold and breathe here a little bit. We'll take about five breaths. And then slowly release. And we're gonna do the other leg. So bending into your knees again. This time the left foot comes to the top of your right thigh. You're gonna draw that left heel in closer towards your right hip crease. And then begin to straighten through the right leg, drawing the right leg in towards your face now. Just breathing here. And then slowly release. 
and now we'll try both legs so this time we will bring the right heel into your left hip crease and then your left foot on top of the right coming into your right hip crease and go as deep as you can now if you aren't able to get both legs again do not force it do not hurt your knees um, just continue with one at a time if that's not feeling right do not force anything you will get there in time and patience and consistency but if you are in full lotus you can just breathe here sometimes i like to wrap my arms around my legs kind of bring them in a little bit closer sometimes i like to stretch them up just finding organic movements. Again, there's no rush here. If you need to pause the video and then get back into this and play around in it, feel free to do so. But when you're ready, you can slowly release and come to a nice long body stretch as we make our way into Shavasana. So a nice long body stretch like you're waking up in the morning one more breath in and exhale final shavasana rest all the way out again fully relaxing the body tongue is removed from the roof of your mouth keeping some space in between your teeth to fully relax your jaw and your face removing any wrinkles from in between your brows palms can rest on your belly they can rest overhead Maybe you bring the soles of your feet to the mat and let your knees um, rest together. There's no wrong, there's no right here. The only thing that's wrong is not doing what feels good to you. We'll find one more breath in. And exhale, release. I'll cue you out of Shavasana in about 60 seconds. Alrighty, friends, we'll slowly begin to wake up the body with a breath in through the nose and an open mouth exhale, release it out. You can roll over on either side in fetal pose, slowly waking up the body, using this as a bridge between the practice on our mat and the practice in our daily lives. And when you're ready, you can press up to a seated position. If you would like, you're always free to stay in fetal pose. But if you do come to a seated position, you can bring your palms together to your forehead as a reminder to be very mindful of what you allow in here. What you listen to absolutely matters. Bringing your palms to your lips as a reminder to speak kindly to others and kindly to yourself. And then bringing your palms together to your heart as a reminder that you are loved, you are important, you have a purpose, you have a reason for your existence. You are not a fluke, you are not a coincidence, you didn't just appear. You were mindfully created, intentionally crafted by God, and you are absolutely, infinitely loved. You can find one more breath in through the nose. And an open mouth exhale, release it out. You can flutter your eyes open. 
God bless friends. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's class. If you did, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. Um, comment down below what you liked or anything new that you would like to see from me. And if you would like to donate to me personally, I'll leave my Venmo and Cash App on the next screen. If you would like to donate to my future studio, um, I will leave the GoFund, GoFundMe information down below. And yeah. All right. Well, I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you in our next class. Bye.